And we welcome you back to the program live with Spurrier's Grin Iron Grill, Frank Frangie, Hayes Carlin, and the ball coach with us, Steve Spurrier. How are you, man? Hey, Frank, good to be with you guys. I, do you, how often you come here? You know what, this? this is about my third time, and I need to come more often. It's fantastic. Yeah, I tell you what, we've got an early crowd getting ready for the Orange and Blue game yeah, you, uh, tomorrow. So, uh, but we've always got a crowd here. We've been very fortunate to have an uh, excellent chef, uh, people that work here, and uh, we've had excellent support. You've got to be really proud of this thing, Steve. You well, I'm proud of all the people. It's a team effort, just like any successful team, organization. Yeah. Uh, if you all don't work together and have good attitudes, it's not going to work. And uh, people ask me how we win all the time when I was a Gator coach, because it don't happen all the time now, does it? <laughs> I said, we have good attitudes all the time. And we had attitude, effort, good players, leadership, all that kind of good stuff that, uh, you know, makes winners. Uh, and I, I know that's what everybody shoots for, but we're fortunate to have that back in the 90s and so forth. Tell me about Florida football. Now, I know you know, I know you like Bill. He's a good guy. Tell, tell me, where do you think it's headed? What, what do you think? Well, we're going to find out uh, again this year, I guess. Uh, I mean, uh, anticipation, expectation is about the same as last year. But that doesn't mean, you know, it's bad or good or whatever. Uh, he's got a bunch of new coaches. Uh, seems like they are going to be more demanding. Uh, make the guys more accountable. Uh, it seems like the leadership of Graham Mertz and some of those other guys is is going to be there. So schedule's tough, but uh, you know everybody's got a tough schedule now just about in the SEC. So we'll wait and see. I pick them to win, go eight and four, and win a bowl game. Okay. And man, if we did that, we could do cartwheels and somersaults <laughs> around here. Absolutely, no doubt about it. And we'll be a happy bunch of Gators if I can have. Steve, do you have a favorite orange and blue memory as a coach? Orange and blue memory, well, my freshman year, we had the uh, spring game, orange and blue game, at night. And I got to play back the whole game was, uh, before my sophomore year. And uh, Coach Graves said, yeah, you can throw all you want to. So anyway, this was 1964, uh, something like that. And I threw for 214 yards. And I, in the write up in the paper, the guy said, if this had been a regular season game, 214 would have been the school record for the passing <laughs> I'm not, yards. I'm not that. So I think I may have got it later in uh, that season. But uh, I don't think Florida had ever had 200 game passes before <laughs> I got here. You, you had a fun time with Spring Game here. I, I, I was back in the newspaper business for many years after radio and the network. That was a, that was a, that was a fun day, was it? Yeah, we gave up a whole bunch of awards, you know, most reliable, most unselfish, <laughs> offense, defense, hustle award, all kind of stuff. So, uh, and the parents uh, of the players, they all came to the spring game, and, you know, when your son gets introduced at halftime for an honor to win the award, uh, they love it. And uh, so, yeah, it was. And it was mostly for the guys who hadn't played much. Uh, I remember the second year here, uh, I told a defensive lineman, Brad Culpepper, and two or three others that were, I think, were going to be seniors. I said, you guys are not even suiting up the spring game. What? You're kidding, aren't you, April Fool? I said, no, not April Fool. You're not playing, okay? And uh, anyway, uh, the sports from uh, no, the media guy, uh, I'm trying to think of his name, McBride, okay. he told the AD, uh, Jeremy, he said, Spurrier's not even suiting up all the guys. How are we going to sell those $5 tickets? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy said, if you don't want to suit up the guys, you don't have to suit up the guys. But they were worried about, uh, back then, we sold uh, tickets for five, five or ten bucks, something like that. So, Steve, when you watch Graham Mertz play, what do you like about him? Oh, he's a good passer. He's a good passer. Uh, excellent passer, really. And uh, seems to be a good leader out there. Uh, you know, everybody runs the same offense now, it seems like. Everybody's in the gun, got some guys going in motion. Uh, I, I, I like to see quarterback under center occasionally, not all the time, occasionally, uh, but nobody does that anymore. So I, I'm not criticizing us, I'm just saying that's, uh, I guess, where football is going pretty much. It's uh, the gun, uh, three or four wide receivers, and things like that. But uh, obviously you still got to run the ball and stop the run. That's still a big part of the game. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's just where football is. Steve Spurrier with us. It's Spurrier's good iron grill. What's your best team? What was your best team of your 12? Uh, here, what was your best team? Well, statistically, the 96 team uh, <clears throat> won the SEC games, I think, 
think about 47 to 16 was the average score. Right. So, so that one? That was 31 point uh, average uh, margin of victory. Uh, 95 team was about 29 or something. Uh, so those two were probably considered the best. Uh, gosh, the last one, 98, 2001 teams that did not win an SEC. Uh, they finished uh, third and fifth in the nation. Uh, but, you know, lost the game Tennessee and this, that, and the other. Uh, but they were all pretty good. And I think what I'm most proud is they all won between 9 and 12. We didn't win the SEC every year, but we almost did. We were in the hunt. We were in the fight for it every year. So that's what I think coaches, teams, uh, man, if we're in the hunt every year, not going to win them all, but we'll, we'll win our share. See, you and I had this talk a few years ago. You told me you loved them. You said that 95 team was talented. You built an elf. I thought the 2001 team. I, yeah. and I, I thought that 2001 team. That was right there, too. Really? I think we were first in the SEC in defense. Yeah. And I'd be dead gum, uh, Travis Stevens of Tennessee ran for 225 yards on us that night. And we blew several scoring chances, had to kick some short field goals. And we got beat 34-32. So that's how that season happened. On a game that, that had to be played later. Mm -hmm. On a game that wanted to be played later than it would have been. But I, I, boy, I thought I told the story last time. We were at LSU, I was on the network for LSU. And that's even Aaron Walker called the touchdown. Aaron Walker, rest through five, and Aaron Walker caught one. And I remember that day. You know, some days just jump out at you. Mm -hmm. One of that Rouge in 01. And mm -hmm. that's LSU. And just beat the dog out of him. I thought, I thought that might be, I walked out of this thinking, that might be as good a 14 as I've Yeah, that was uh, Saban's second year down there. That's right. So we beat them 40, 44 to 15, I think. Yeah. Uh, that's right. But then we lose at Auburn and then lost to Tennessee, LSU regroups, and they beat Tennessee and win the SEC. That's right. So that's, that's sports right there. you got to win the right ones and play well right at the end of the season, and, and LSU did that. When you guys upset the Knowles uh, in 97, at what point in the week, Steve, did you decide on the Doug Johnson, Noah Brindice, how you were going to maneuver the quarterbacks in, in that game so well? Oh, I don't know. Tuesday or Wednesday, I was driving my boy Scotty to school. He went to PK Young then. And uh, I said, Scotty, I think I'm going to alternate quarterbacks. L uh, FSU knew our signals. Right. And we, we tried to hide them, but they, they videoed me for 10 years. Right, right, right. So they, they knew them, and we did do a good job of hiding them. So I said, well, let's run the quarterbacks, and then we don't have to worry about hiding the signals. So uh, now, which one do you throw out there first? Because he's a starter. So I asked Scotty. My son Scott, I said, which one shall I run out there first? We're going to rotate quarterbacks. And he said, well, Pops, has uh, Noah ever lost a game that he started? I said, no, he hasn't. <laughs> Noah's the starter. <laughs> and, and that's how it happened. And he took the, the first play against Penn State down at the Citrus Bowl uh, in the bowl game also. And we rotated that game also. And then, uh, and then we went back to normal quarterbacks after that. I thought, and I had Shane on last week, and I said this, I thought maybe the most important game with the United States was at Alabama in night. First game. For Will White with all the interceptions. And if, do you agree with that? One yeah. of the most important games. Yeah, that got us in position to win the SEC that year. If we don't win that one, uh, we would not have been in position. Yeah, that was, uh, that was crucial to get going on the right foot and win it the first and second year. And then that win at Kentucky was big in 93 to get us going for those four in a row. So, uh, yeah, we can look back, and uh, but that was huge to beat Alabama at Bama. Yeah, they were defending SEC champ, along with Auburn and Tennessee. They had, we had three champs in 89. Did you know that? <laughs> they were all 6-1. That, that's right. That's and uh, Bill Curry uh, was in Alabama, and he was 6-1. and one, And... Uh, was co SEC champ, and he got fired because he lost to Auburn. Isn't that funny? And that's it. What I remember about, Paige, about that 90 game was Steve had just gotten the job, and you knew they were going to be good under Steve. They scored all the points, a couple of mistakes. They wanted Tuscaloosa. That's, mm -hmm. when, the, that's when the whole league said, oh, I'm telling you, that's when, that's when yeah. the whole league woke up. You know how we won the game, don't you? The block punt. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You had the touchdown to Terrence Barber, but you blocked the punt. Jimmy Spencer uh, got that's through right. and blocked it. And uh, yeah, in fact, uh, <clears throat> Bob Sanders was our uh, punt block coach. And one of the coaches up top told him to go ahead and block it. 
And he said, well, if we rough the punter, coach will be mad, isn't he? I said, go ahead and call the block punt. So we, uh, we blocked the punt and went up 17 to 10. They kicked the field goal and uh, we had a little drive. Uh, ran out about the last four or five minutes of that game. So, the Gators are the last team to win the SEC title on their home field. Yeah. We were talking a couple years ago, and you, you, you mentioned that. How special is that, that 91 team and, and being the, the last? Because obviously the league then went to the SEC championship yeah. game, which had great success in two. Yeah, we are the last one to win on their home field in 91. And that one got way too close, and it should have. Uh, God, it was 29, 26, with about seven minutes left. And... Uh, we put together a drive and scored a touchdown in about 30, 40 seconds, and they were firing at the end zone at the end of the game. But we got, uh, we're up 27 at half, and we got, I don't know what happened at halftime. I tried to, come on now, let's don't start talk, thinking about the celebration after the game, because they'd already advertised. All right, the game's over. Go have all kinds of pictures. Go take team pictures, blah, blah, all the fans. And our fans went dead, too. I think FSU and Miami was playing that day. It was a close game. It's supposed to the booster said, oh, we we're all up there watching FSU behind the second half. We turned around and looked on our field, and we're about to get beat. Uh, 28, 26. And, uh, but anyway, Shane Matthews uh, and Eric Rapp had some good plays. And then our defense, we regrouped and uh, beat FSU the, the next week, which I think first time in about nine or ten years. Yeah, 14 to 9. 14 to 9 game. Yeah, our defense came alive that game. After. No doubt. Final thing. Okay. You enjoy yourself now. You're the ambassador here. This, this restaurant's fantastic. I just saw Jerry. She looks great. These are good times. Yeah, it's uh, what you do when you're finished uh, coaching. Uh, I wish, uh, I mean, if, if my son was the head coach somewhere, I'd be somewhat yeah. involved. It's just sure. analysts look, look on that and so forth. But uh, yeah, I, I can uh, stay amused uh, here at the restaurant and uh, things in town here and so forth. I wish my golf game was as good as it was 15 years yeah, ago yeah. or 10 years ago. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this uh, the people run this restaurant here. It's uh, it's been very successful. You're doing a great All right, job. all right, Frenchie, good talking to you guys.